Hello students, today we will start with unit 3 that is quality control in production and inventory management. So we have seen in the previous unit that is plant location and layout. What are the factors that you when you think about when you decide to uh, start a factory and then how do you go about the layout. Now in this unit we will be emphasizing on what is quality control and how important role it plays in production management. So let us see what are the contents in this unit. So we will be seeing first the meaning and definition of quality control, objectives of quality control, the steps involved in quality control, methods, types or techniques of quality control and accepting sampling procedures, quality circle, TQM and ISO. So today we will be covering the first three concepts that is meaning of quality control, objectives and the steps involved in quality control. So let us see what is the meaning of quality control. So to have a better understanding, I have divided the, the two words and let us understand the, each word individually. So meaning of quality. Quality refers to the sum of attributes, characteristics, features or properties that, are, that describe a particular product. And what is control? So control is a process where you, you will be seeing throughout the production process that everything is going as per the plan. And if you find any deviations, you have to take corrective measures. So that is called as control. So quality is the attributes that is necessary for a product and control is you have to see that the production process maintains those attributes, characteristics and features of the product that is required. So let us have a better understanding with the help of the definition. So according to the definition given by Joseph Menu, he has stressed on three important words that is inspection, analysis and action. So according to him, he says quality control is a system of inspection, analysis and action, which is applied to a manufacturing process so that by inspecting a small portion of the product currently produced, an analysis of its quality can be made to determine what action is required on the operation in order to achieve and maintain the desired level of quality. So he has, again, as I said, he has stressed on the three important words, inspection, analysis, action. So what he says is, when you are producing, you produce in small lots, you inspect, you analyze. When you analyze, you can uh, find out where the mistakes have happened, where they have gone wrong, where the quality has deteriorated and then you take the correct action. So it, this gives a complete understanding of what is quality control. So now let us see what are the objectives. What is the main purpose of quality control? The first objective of quality control is establishing quality standards. The main object of quality control system is to establish desired quality standards. And these standards should be acceptable to the customers. And one important thing that they have to take into consideration is that the standards, whatever they are setting, it should be economical. Sometimes in uh, where the manufacturer wants to uh, establish highest standard, and you may end up spending more money. So here the cost of the product may increase. So you always have to take into consideration where you establish such standards which is economical even for the company as well as to the consumers. Second objective is to ensure smooth production. Okay. So here they say that there should not be any flaws. Like uh, when you whether getting the raw material, quality of raw material, manufacturing process, if anything goes wrong, definitely it affects the production. So it is important that in quality control, they ensure smooth product, smooth production without any interruptions. The third objective is to find out deviations in the production process. So. As you see, have seen in the first point, it is not only important to establish quality standards, 
but it is also essential to take corrective measures whenever there is a change in the set standards so you are producing the product you are inspecting you are analyzing and whenever you are analyzing whenever you find any deviation the third important objective is you have to correct those deviations okay the fourth objective is to find out causes for low productivity there are n number of causes in an organization or in the manufacturing process that it leads to low productivity or where the quality may come down so the reasons for low uh, low productivity can be a defective quality of raw material defective machinery defective control system uh, etc so once these ca causes of low productivity or low quality is identified immediately a corrective measure has to be taken the last objective of quality control system so if you see the first four points it focuses on setting standards seeing that the, there is no interruptions there is whenever deviations find out found out take corrective actions and you are also seeing what you are seeing the causes of low productivity so last is see it, it cannot happen that there you will not have any defective products so uh, every manufacturing process will produce some defective products so it is important that the last objective says segregation of the defective products so you have to segregate the defective products so that it is not mixed with the proper uh, the proper standard products so the last and the most important objective of quality control is segregation of defective products okay where there should be a system where goods of acceptable quality should be sent to the customers and if there is any variation in the quality of some products it should be immediately segregated from the others so these were the objectives of quality control now we move on to the next important concept that is what are the various steps that are involved in quality control so how do you actually do the quality control you have found out now the main reasons why you have to do the quality control that is to set standards uh, ensure smooth production process then to find out deviation and to take corrective actions to find out the causes and segregation of defective so now let us see how it actually works okay so the various steps involved in quality control are the first one is standards set standards of quality okay so here the standards have to be fixed for various products and it will be or every product will be compared with the predetermined standards so the quality standards should be whatever quality standards that are fixed it should be practical it should be taken into account the availability of resources equipment and demand on that basis you will set the standards the second step is control over raw materials okay the quality of finished product is generally influenced by the quality of raw material if the raw material which is rolled out is not of a good quality definitely it will affect the quality of the final product so here when whenever the raw material is received it should be checked it should even be checked before the purchase and when at the time of the receipt once again these raw materials have to be checked because it is very important that you get good quality raw material if you do not get good quality raw material the out, it also affects the output third one is control over production operations the production process and operations must be always kept under control the methods that have that have been decided by the organization it should be standardized and it should be done with the consultation of the engineers and designing departments so you should have a proper method of production which is tested and which is applicable with the uh, and uh, with the consultants uh, with the consultation of engineers and designing departments so it is uh, it can be very well done through automation this will enable proper control over the production process because various op operations will be automatic this will also help in controlling cost and increasing the production and at the same time there will be less errors so what they are saying in this point is 
to have a control over the production operation make it standardized take the help of the experts and try to go for automation so that there is less number of errors fourth one is inspection of machinery and in equipment see this step is again very very important because see you have seen that you have to get raw materials but once you put the raw materials into production it is also important that the machinery and equipment are properly maintained so here you it is mandatory that the type and condition of the machinery equipment tools are maintained properly because these play a very important in maintaining the quality of the product if the equipment and machines are worn out they are not properly maintained they are outdated it affects the quality of production so for that purpose to see that uh, the machines work properly periodical inspection should be undertaken to see whether all the things are you are uh, properly maintained and it is functioning so that uh, the production quality is not affected the fifth step in quality control is uh, promptness in inspecting quality so whenever you are inspecting the quality it should be done promptly and regularly it should not uh, it should not be ignored okay in a prompt inspection the responsibility of low quality can be immediately fixed so when you are properly thoroughly checking each and every item so definitely whenever you find a low quality or defective item you can always take a corrective action this will help in controlling further production and it also enables to take corrective measures sixth one is quality consciousness okay so the main task of management here is to develop quality consciousness among the workers so the workers should be conscious enough and the executive should see that all the workers are very well made aware about how important it is to take care of the quality of the product so if the employees are not conscious they just uh, are manufacturing without take uh, seeing whether whatever they are producing are of a good quality or not air quality control does not work so quality consciousness is, a, is an awareness that the manager as well as the employees have when they are producing the product so when they are aware definitely quality control works very effectively last one is application of statistical methods for quality control so there are n number of num uh, number of statistical statistical tools that can be uh, used for quality control when we use these methods it gives a systematic information to the management of about the quality of the products so there are various statistical methods which are generally used they, they which are sampling frequency distribution quality control charts standard deviation range theories of probabilities etc so we will be studying about these statistical tools also in when we uh, study the types or methods in detail so these are the seven steps that every organization has to follow when they go for quality control so just for a quick revision so first is standards of quality second is control have a control over raw materials third control over production operations fourth inspection of machinery and equipment fifth promptness in inspecting quality sixth quality consciousness seventh application of statistical methods of quality control okay so uh, this was what we were uh, going to see today so we have seen what is quality what is control and uh, what is the meaning of quality control what are the objectives of quality control and what are the various steps in quality control so uh, i will be giving you an assignment in, in the google classroom so i want you all to write these two answers it is a graded assignment okay so the first question is explain the objectives of quality control second is explain the steps involved in quality control in the slides i have just mentioned this uh, mentioned the steps but i have given a detailed explanation so i want you to go through the explanation and write an answer on both for both okay and upload it in the google classroom assignment okay yes so thank you i hope uh, you all understood today's concept so happy learning bye meet you for the next class